This April festival, celebrated throughout Thailand, symbolizes the beginning of the Thai New Year. It is also time for merit making and family reunions. However, its most defined aspect is water splashing, which is a cool blessing in the year's hottest season. For the locals, one word says it all, Sanuk, which means fun. And that's what it's all about at the Songkran Festival. Thailand is a land of contrasts, from the mountains in the north to the beautiful coastlines in the south. This long-lived kingdom will draw everyone with its magical feeling. Thailand earned the friendly title, the Land of Smiles. Another expression used for Thailand is the Land of the Free. And rightly so. Throughout its long history, it was never colonized despite various invasions, thus successfully maintaining a strong Asian identity. Thailand was known as Siam until 1939, when it became a constitutional monarchy. Today, Thailand has the longest reigning monarchy in the world. Though agriculture is a major contributor to the economy, tourism has given it a strong push, with approximately 6 million visitors a year. Beware of sudden movements during these festivities. It will probably mean that the water thrown with a variety of techniques is on its way to a human target. Just about anyone can get hit. After all, this is the biggest water fight in the world. 
that we have to uh, splash and to throw the water to everybody to get it. And on this time, no one's angry to get it. And also, we have to say uh, thank you for the one who throw water and spread water to us. And uh, for thank you in here, that uh, we have to say Sawadee uh, Bimai. The water has a deeper meaning than just getting everyone wet. It follows centuries of Thailand's culture and traditions. It means purification and a clean start for the new year. Buddha images are given a perfumed bath for good luck. อ่าลอสามครับก็เกี่ยวกับการจริงๆแล้วเป็นพันธุ์นี้ประเพณีเกี่ยวกับรดน้ําดําหัวขอพรผู้ใหญ่นะครับแล้วก่อนจะขอพ
It is an important rite of passage for the